it's about having the choice. Today, as many as 1,000 truckers are expected to participate in the People's Convoy protest which is leaving California on Wednesday to embark on an 11-day trek to Washington, D.C. to protest COVID mask and vaccine mandates. I mean, what we're looking for is to end the uh, uh, declaration of emergency, the emergency declaration, to end the mandates on the vaccine and the mask mandates, um, especially for our healthcare workers, our law enforcement officers, our federal employees, and, and of course our military personnel um, at the this really it's about having the choice the people's convoy has called on the federal government to end the national emergency enacted at the start of the pandemic which president joe biden extended on friday despite calls from congress to end it organizers and participants argue the ongoing covid 19 restrictions and mandates are unconstitutional and claim the government has forgotten its place the organizers also claim the convoy is about freedom and unity noting the truckers are riding unified across party and state lines and with people of all colors and creeds. People's Convoy organizers claim they do not intend to disrupt roads or bridges, like the Canadian Freedom Convoy protest did, however some truckers are swearing to disrupt traffic in the nation's capital. It doesn't matter the color of your skin or your political affiliation or how you identify sexually, none of that matters. Whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated, it does not matter. Choice. We have our own choices and that's what we want back. The District of Columbia government including Democrat Mayor Muriel Bowser and the U.S. Capitol Police are requesting the National Guard assistance. D.C. leaders have also increased police presence in the city and plan to reinstall the fencing that surrounded the Capitol complex for much of 2021. I don't feel like what the government's trying to enforce with vaccinations and over-inflating everything. I don't, I don't feel it's right. I feel like things need to go back to a more simple way of life, I guess. In my opinion, I am 100% for peaceful protest and agree that the state of emergency and mandates should be struck down. We need to return back to giving individuals the choice on what to do with their body. It will be very interesting to see if the government takes the same approach that Canada did and turn this into a way to strip more freedom away from Americans. It will be crazy if they try to freeze truckers' bank accounts like they did in Canada. I did two videos on Canada and highly recommend you watch them. We're doing this not just for truckers, we're doing this for everyone. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.